Hey, what's the population of the United States? As of the most recent data available from around 2023, the population of the United States is approximately 333 million people. Keep in mind that populations can change. Hey guys, in this video, I will show you another project I created two weeks ago, which is AI Chatbot iOS SDK. This one is for the OpenAI Real-Time API. Uh, you guys may already know I created some demo for the uh, iOS for the OpenAI Real-Time API. A lot of people ask me some question like how to uh, do the echo canceling, how to do the noise canceling, how to set up the microphone, how to set up the web socket. Yeah, so I think we'd better, I'd better create a SDK so user could just use the SDK instead of follow my uh, code, understand my code, so they could just use the SDK. I already have the code uploaded to the, the SDK uploaded to the CocoaPod, so you guys could uh, download from here. This video, I will show you how to use this SDK. Okay, let's start. Okay, let's start the Xcode first and start a new project. Uh, iOS, pick up iOS and uh, give it a name. Okay, change this a little bit. Use the storyboard Swift. Click next, create. Now uh, you need to follow the instruction over here. So you need to set the uh, minimum version. Go back to Xcode. Set the minimum version. And go to the info. Add one item. And one more item. Go the instruction. Pick up this one. Copy this one to here. You could type anything over here because we don't need to get it uploaded to the App Store. Now let's do a quick try. So it's working. So now let's set up the Cocoa Pod. Let's go back to over here. Open the terminal. Initialize the pod. Uh, copy the version, the library over here. You can find the library over here. Okay. Now let's go back to here. Now go back to. Let's wait and do the install. Mm -hmm. Install. Now it's working. Uh, let's uh, close this one and uh, open the workspace. Maximum this one. Now open the main page, go to open the code. View. Okay. Drop a button. Mm. 
No, it's over here. Go to the view, show library, and a button, and link the button to the code. My button. My click. Okay, now add some code over here. Uh, I already have some code over here, so just need to specify your API key. And start the view. Also, you need to import the library. You can find the library name over here. So copy this line. Here, now everything is good. Let's start to run the project. Let's lock my unlock my phone. I will delete my uh, API key after the after I load the upload the video. What's the population of United States? As of the latest estimates in 2023, the population of the So it's working. And also you can use the uh, text instead of the uh, audio. So you can say, okay, and now, yeah, it's also working. Yeah, it's very cool. Okay, next one, I will show you uh, some function call so if you want to do the function call because a lot of people ask me how to do the function call so you could uh, i have a template i have a sample so just to copy this sample this is the so control c to over here this one is how we define the function call and the parameter so the next one is how we process the function call. So I put it in the two uh, section. This is for the trigger the function call. So copy over here, go back to here. Uh, because this one is not the self, so I just, just remove the self. Okay, I think that should work. Let me try. So this one just changes the background. Uh, so let's try it. Could you change my background to yellow? Go back, say, could you change my background to white? Say it's changed the background to white. Okay, yeah, I think that is for how to quick start your project. If you want to look into more uh, property or more method, you can take a look at the uh, this readme file. Like you can change the log. You can change the logo over here. You can change the avatar. So you can find more um, code in this folder. This example folder, example folder contain more 
uh, code, how to modify the uh, logo, how to modify the avatar. Yeah. Um, and this one is MIT license, so it's totally free. If you have something to change, if you want to change the original code, you can find the original code over here. Yeah. Okay, I think that pretty much. Thank you for watching. Hope this SDK will be helpful for your project. Thank you. Bye.